Hi guys, just thought I'd do a really quick video. I know I haven't done a video in a while on this car, but I thought I'd just do a quick one just to get, update my future plans, how the car's behaving. Um, but uh, yeah, here in Bedfordshire, beautiful sunset over here. Look at that. But uh, no, just covered uh, 8,200 miles now. Um, it's had its third oil change at MTC Subaru in Peterborough. Um, it's a main dealer. Uh, this is where I got the car from. Fantastic bunch of guys there. Always look after my car. Um, I try and change the oil every eight, 1,800 miles to 3,000 miles um, just to keep the engine uh, nice and healthy. Um, loving the car so far. Um, a lot different from my 2016 STI in terms of ride comforts. Um, just it's just an easier car to live with. Um, I'm really loving the front front end as well. This final edition, really nice. But uh, no, I'm going to stage two in February. Um, I've just got to book an appointment with SCR in Chesterfield. Um, and I'm going to get a guy called Mark to map it. He's been on the dyno for the last 15 years on working with Subarus. Uh, very experienced guy when it comes to mapping these cars. He's a very conservative mapper. Um, he doesn't push the car at all. Um, you know, you see a lot of mappers these days go stage two and they're, they're mapping them to like 380, 390 brake with just a turbo back exhaust. Where Mark would just do about 330, 340 with a sports cat. Um, because he understands, you know, these these engines are quite fragile, especially the pistons and uh, and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I'm going to get that sorted in February. Reason being, February is because it's my birthday um, and it's the coldest month of the year. So um, should get some really good numbers. Um, but what I'm really after is mid-range torque. Um, not not too fussed about horsepower, to be honest with you. Um, but I'll update you in February regarding that. Uh, I've got all my stage two bits now. I've got my Cobra Sports Cat. I did a video on that a few weeks ago. Really nice downpipe. Um, Cosworth panel filter um, and one step colder spark plugs. Again, these two aren't essential for um, stage two, but they are recommended by my mapper. Um, you don't need to upgrade to a, um, a cold air intake on stage two whatsoever. The airbox is very efficient. Um, the um, SCR racing just told me panel filter is ideal. Uh, they recommend one step cold for spark plugs as well on stage two and beyond. Um, because when you're increasing boost, obviously increasing the um, combustion chamber temperature and these spark plugs will get rid of that heat much more efficient, efficiently. So I've got those. They're going to install the, all that at the same time uh, and then map it in the afternoon. But I'll let you know uh, on the day I'm mapping. I'll do another video um, before and after the results, etc. Um, but uh, what else? Oh, uh, my other plan was, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this yet, but I've been doing a lot of research about the secondary air pump delete just to save a little bit of weight um, it's not needed for the MOT test here in the UK it's basically for it to pass emissions um, uh, when they first designed the car it just pumps air into the exhaust to um, heat up the um, catalytic converter so it pass, passes um, cold start emissions tests um, again, probably save about five kilos there, removing that and getting that deleted. Plus, my uh, tuning company said they they delete it for around 300 quid, um, and then it needs a sort of remap um, to get rid of the fault co codes. Um, but and it frees up a little bit of engine space as well. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet, because um, I've also been told that these are about 2,000 pounds to replace if they break, and they are prone to seizing. Um, after a while because water gets in the system but um, yeah so I'll let you know about that one um, 
obviously you knew about my future plans with the alloy wheels downsized into 18s to save some weight and improve a little bit of the ride comfort um, that's still on the cars but probably from the middle of next year now um, so once I get to go stage 2 I'm going to probably end up um, changing my wheels like I said taking the spare tyre out which I've weighed which is 14 point, I think it was 14.8 kilos um, again you don't really need it um, so it's 14.8 kilos saving there. The wheels will save me another 14, 15 kilos. Um, so yeah, that's just nearly 30 kilos off the off the weight of the car. Um, because this is by far the heaviest STI Subaru I've ever made. Um, I think top of my back of my head it was 1550 kilos. This final edition. Um, so it is quite a porky car. Um, also the downpipe is uh, just under 5 kilos of weight, that was 4.8, 4.9 kilos. So I'm assuming that's going to be lighter than the, the stock um, standard downpipe with the two catalytic converters on. But I won't know, and won't know that until um, I weigh it. So yeah, they're my plans. Um, loving the car so far, like I keep saying. Um, uh, yeah, the reason why I've chosen Mark from SCR is he's a very experienced mapper. He's been on the dyno for 15 years now. Uh, he knows a lot about these Subaru cars and uh, their weaknesses. Um, far too often I keep hearing of engine failures, uh, not only on stock cars but on highly modified cars because the mappers, in my personal opinion, are a bit irresponsible. Um, they seem to be mapping on stage two, which is a turbo back exhaust. They seem to be mapping around 380, 390 horsepower, um, and the engines don't last very long. Um, and they keep putting the, I think it's in the injectors cycle on about 90, 90 to 95%, which is ridiculous. Uh, where Mark, uh, he maps a stage two of a full turbo back exhaust sports cat to around 330 horsepower um, and I think the injector cycle is around 80-85% so he's a very conservative mapper, very safe mapper um, he won't push the car too much um, so that's the reason why I'm going to him um, but it's not horsepower I'm after to be honest with you it's mid-range torque and obviously top end torque as well um, because that's what makes the car go fast really so yeah I'm hoping for around 350 360 foot pounds of torque which would be nice I think that'll be it to be honest with you um, I'm not going to push the engine any further than that it doesn't need to um, I mean it's quick enough as it is but um, but uh, what else am I going to do? Intercooler, yes. Uh, I do plan to change that to a larger one. I know it's a little bit pointless, but um, it's um, something I've always wanted to do, really. Um, even my tuner says, don't do it, Chris, save your money. You know, this intercooler here is um, the biggest Subaru I've ever put on a car, really. Um, my tuner says it's quite comfortable at 400 brake horsepower, no problems at all. Um, but I just want a slightly larger top mount, either a Pro Alloy or a Mishimoto top mount intercooler. Um, and I think that's going to be everything for the engine. Anyway, this uh, over the next 12 months, that'll be it, I should think. Um, what else? Just trying to think. But uh, no, apart from that, yeah, it needs a bit of a little bit of a clean at the moment brake dust at the moment, especially on these calipers, I mean, they are a pain in the arse to keep clean. Zoom up, can I, can you, yeah, there you go, yeah, see that? Yeah, that's, I've, I washed it um, two days ago, and that's what's, that's how quickly it goes. Um, but when they are clean, they look fantastic.